Hello guys, welcome back to How to Rhino channel. Before jumping into today's tutorial, I would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel if this is your first time watching, uh, as we upload new videos every week. In today's tutorial, we will be remodeling a project designed by the Nuru Karim. It's the installation for the books uh, located in the Mumbai in India. We can go through these uh, pictures first to see how it looks. All right, before diving into tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, parameters and how we can control uh, the whole shape. So first one is the is the length of uh, each uh, of each element. Let's see what the output uh, will look like if we change from four to seven. We can also change the numbers of each element. Then we can change the curvature of the whole shape and we can change the minimum and the maximum value of the angle of each element by changing these two parameters inside the main. By changing this slider, we can change the extrusion factor of each surface here. You see right now it's a little bit thicker than before. And these two parameters uh, are related to horizontal shelves. Right now we have 10 shelves, actually 10 from this side and 10 from the other side. So if we say 20, you can see what's happened. And the last one can control the thickness of each horizontal shelf. All right, uh, without further ado, let's get started. We will start uh, this by creating a line. which we are going to draw in Rhino. Let's say something like this. Then we are going to divide it. And then we will create the vertical line from each of these points. In this case it's a Z vector but sometimes it's not going to be so that's why I want to use perpendicular frame. And then deconstruct this plane. And right now we can see the direction uh, we need is the X vector of uh, this plane because uh, uh, red color represent um, X vector. Okay, so as I said, we were going to create the line. This is starting point. Uh, direction is X vector and the line can be from zero to 20. All right, uh, after we created these uh, vertical lines, we are going to evaluate them because we want to get curve something like this. And we can get this curve by finding these points here. And after we have these points, we are going to use a component interpolate curve and then which are, and this um, component will help us to connect all these points. So first evaluate curve. For that purpose we're going to use graph mapper with the sign function. And this one. Something like this, but before that we need the domain from 0 to 1. But for that we, we should have the range. But if I want to add one more layer of complexity, I can remap them and say I don't want from 0 to 1, I can change uh, this um, target domain 
from I still can have from 0 to 1 but we can change this domain so something like this you see what's the what's the result if I change the target domain but for now I will leave this 0 95 and maybe here 0 0.3 then as I said before using interpolate curve we, we can uh, we can uh, connect all of these points after we got these points here uh, the next uh, thing is to find um, another set of points because the output we want to achieve is the is the lines which should look like this I can open again the photo of the this reference so right now we we have these points here and we have this line this is the uh, original line from where we start and we have this these lines here and these points so we want to get these points here these points on this curve we can get them by defining these lines here and then creating the sphere along each of each of these points because we want and then when we create the sphere we can use intersection to find this point here why we use sphere because we want each of them to have the same length and this length here will be the half of the radius of the of the sphere which we are going to create i will show you what i mean but first we have to create uh, these lines here this is the starting point direction is the if you look carefully is the green uh, arrow so green arrow represent the y y direction actually this is not the starting point the starting point should be these lines here all right and then we are going to create the sphere with the radius this and if we use brap line it's uh, in the intersection panel brap line so we want to intersect brap actually this sphere which is a B wrap with the line and the result should be this these points I need to check the uh, data tree structure and we have uh, one point here and one point here so that's why we have two items it doesn't matter which of these uh, we use because later on we are going to mirror it so okay we can keep this one here and I'm going to delete uh, this um, parent viewer when we have these points here and these points here we can connect them oh sorry I forgot to check data structure we have one branch here with 33 items but here we have 33 branch with one item that's why we need to flatten this data data tree and this is the result we wanted to achieve I can delete this parent viewer then we are going to 
mirror these uh, these lines along uh, uh, this plane. I'm going to sketch along this plane. So uh, one direction of the plane is the is the initial line, and um, another another direction of the plane should be a uh, vertical line of each plane. We already used these two vectors, so it, it's not going to be difficult to construct this plane. First vector, as I said, should be one, one point of the vector is the starting point of the line. And another point of the vector is the ending point of the line. So we have this vector. And the another vector should be, if you remember, this x direction of of each of these planes. But I can use just one. But I don't need all of these all of these uh, directions. So I can use list item to retrieve just these this direction. To this construct. All right. And then we can construct the plane. So this is the one direction. This is this is another. And origin can be the same as the origin of this plane here. Okay. And this is the plane which we want to create. If I use mirror command, so this is the geometry which we want to mirror and the plane should be this one here. All right. I want to merge them. It will be better to, to graft. Because right now this is one tree branch, this is another tree branch, and each of these tree branch has two items. If I join them, uh, these two into one, we get uh, 33 branches with one item, and the one item is uh, uh, this curve here, these curves. Next step includes um, offset of the of the curves. And we will use, let me check, yeah, these planes here. But first, yeah, the, because this tree structure, it's just in one branch with 33 items. So we need to flatten them and then use these planes. And the direction we can uh, define by uh, creating the slider from 0 to 0 0.5 uh, I'm going to turn off this uh, plane because it's uh, right now it looks messy and if you want to create the surface we can use the loft but before lofting them we need to graft both of these both of these uh, lists because this is the tree structure we want to have we want to graft these lines here with these lines here But if you look carefully, these three branches look different. That's why we need to simplify them. And right now, what I don't like is uh, the endings of this surface. So I want to take these points here and uh, split the surface 
by creating the horizontal plane here and remove this part here. So if, if we create the horizontal line and then split and use the command intersect, we can split these two curve, these two surfaces and then remove this bottom part. Because I want to have this horizontal horizontal ending for each surface. This point here. I can get that point by uh, using command endpoints. I'm not sure which of these two. It's the endpoint, okay. And then when we have these points, I can use XY plane and then inside intersect tab, we can find the B wrap uh, plane. Uh, not sure, uh, is this one here? B wrap plane, okay. This is B wrap and this is the plane. When we have these curves, we can use surface split. This is the surface you want to split and this is the, the curves. And inside um, this list here, we want to retrieve, uh, by using the list item, we want to retrieve the surface here, which is, okay, which is this one. All right, uh, after cutting this um, bottom part, I uh, also um, want to cut uh, this uh, top because it looks quite uh, sharp um, here. Comparing to here, we don't have this, this sharp, um, sharp endings. You see here so we can find this point here and this point here connect them then um, create this middle point and from the middle point uh, as we did uh, for the for the bottom part create x y plane and with the plane we can split uh, this this part here all right so we need this point here and this point here We have to find these control points because this curve here has uh, three control points. Using uh, component discontinuity, we can extract them, and with the list item, we can define which of these points we want to retrieve. And it's point, I think, one, yeah. And then create the line. There is a command point on curve. Create XY plane here. And again, the same component. But this is the wrap which we want to cut and these are the planes. Then split surface. This is the surface we want to split, and these are the splitting curves. If we check inside the list, we want to choose some of these. Is the surface with the item one? Uh, it's this one here. I can turn off the rest of these components, and okay, we finish this part. Okay guys, that would be all for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to have this whole definition with uh, uh, double elements, with their thickness and with the uh, horizontal uh, shelves, you can get it by subscribing to our Patreon page uh, by clicking the first link in the description down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in a comment section. Also, I would like to send special thanks to Milena, Sara and Chen they are our new Patreon supporters. If you found our channel helpful, you can support us as well, so we can bring more interesting tutorials every week. Until next time, take care and see you soon.